Prime Minister, Brother Li Xianlong, and Sister Ho Chin, ESM, Brother Go Chok Tong, DPM, Brother Chi Hien, Brother Taman, Ministers, my fellow parliamentary colleagues, Chapatai partners, sisters and brothers, Happy May Day! This morning, we also have to extend a special welcome to a group of people. They have been attending May Day every year since the beginning. We struggled together for survival. We fought together against the communists. And we served together, the workers and the people of Singapore. They are none other than our sympathetic partners, the PAP, People Action Party. Fifty years ago, we were a third world country. We transformed our economy, our workforce too. Every worker had a role to play, did his best to learn new skills, did her best to take on new jobs, so that we can all progress together. My name is Batumani, daughter of Dorasami. I'm working in NUH as a midwife. I'm 57 years old. My name is Tony Yi. I'm 50 years old. I've been working for 14 years. My name is Mama Ridwan. I'm 24 this year. I'm a landscape technician. My name is Marcus Tang. I'm 47 years old. I'm the operations director here in Keoptik. I completed my GCO level in 1975 when I passed out as a staff nurse and I took my midwifery. My management centers for a lot of courses like uh, IV cannulation courses, CPR. This all helped me to improve and how to tackle patients, especially handling difficult patients. The last time, we nurses who don't do IV cannulation, but now we are able to do IV cannulation. Things can be done faster. I was in the I'm part of landscaping team. I take care of uh, many parts of Singapore, like Tuas, Jurong, and we maintain it every month, like watering and pruning. I went for so many courses. All my training was has not no problem. Singapore is a uh, green and clean city all over the world. I'm proud to see our park is clean. Uh, all the small details uh, add up to, to make a beautiful park. And when people say the park is clean, I'm happy to hear it. My fellow workers, uh, they, they come together as a team. We have problems, we solve it together. Uh, we have open communication. Nobody gives up because we know this is a small company, but uh, we are actually uh, delivering products to global players. So it's important that uh, Made in Singapore brand, uh, we have to protect that reputation. Everybody doesn't know everything. You need to know more, you need to ask, then you will know what to do. I'm already 50 years old. The company has helped me to increase my skills. The company has not said 50 years old. I can't increase my skills. But I think I'm still able to learn this new technology. And now, 外面的工作越來越先進了,我們一定要去自己提升自己,去跟外面人競爭。如果不提升,我看以後我們我早晚也是被淘汰。For me, the most important part of the company is definitely the workers. Uh, technology is there, but if you do not have the people who can use the technology, you will not uh, uh, get the maximum of the technology. So to me, it's still the people and their competency skill level. 自從我學了羅巴了,我公司就提升我 例如那時我只是operator 3 
，学了罗巴，一年大概生两级，薪水也提升了。所以说，我个人认为，如果真的你要去面对这个挑战，公司有付出，我们一定要付出。I see myself as a better nurse. I understand patients better. I can anticipate certain things. Actually, when you are more trained, you know what to expect. So if you have a good experience and you are very motivated, I think you can actually be a better nurse. And you can give your best to your patients. However, it's small. I proud to contributing to Singapore, and I think it's a respectable job, and I enjoy it. 每个人都觉得这万万事起头难了，对不对？每个人都觉得哎呀，很难很难。但是你真的自己本身去尝试哦，反正觉得罗曼更简单，不要怕你年龄。你五十岁没事，六十岁没事。We are a small company, uh, but uh, the results show for themselves. And uh, Singapore, uh, although it's a small country, but we also show to the world that we can do it as a country. Many of our workers may be ordinary workers. But with their extraordinary spirit, step by step, we progress from third world to first. I'd like to share some illustrations, decade by decade, over the last five decades. In the 60s, we needed steel to build buildings and factories. Brother Fauzi was only 19 in 1963. He operated furnace at Net Steel. Over the years, he produced countless tons of steel and trained many younger colleagues. In fact, he just retired at the age of 71 recently. Well done, Brother Fauzi. <laughs> to have more reliable power supply, we needed to replace overhead cables with underground ones. Brother Bengada Salam was there. He did laying of pipes, pulling of power cables. Today, at the age of 65, he's still there at Singapore Power, now a technical officer, doing cable diversion works. Well done, brother. In the 70s, we needed to modernize our port to be the first in Southeast Asia to go on containerization. When MV Nihon arrived in Singapore, it was the first container ship to do so. Brother Martin was there. As a key crane operator, he uploaded, he unloaded containers for the first time in his life. He was very nervous but excited. Today, at the age of 70, Brother is still an associate trainer with PSA Institute, imparting his skills, his knowledge and experience to the younger ones. Well done, Brother Martin. <laughs> Due to our strategic location, many ships caught on our port. So we thought, why not service them, repair them? So from that humble beginning, Singapore is today the number one in the building of oil rigs. Brother Chiam Akau, Brother Chiam Akau is one worker who helped make this happen. Today, at the age of 70, Brother Chiam is a charge hand, lifting supervisor, monitoring new staff at PPL Shipyard. Interestingly, Brother Chiam did land reclamation work before he joined the marine industry. And guess what? The land that PPL Shipyard now sits on was a piece of land that Brother Chiam helped to reclaim many years ago. Well done, Brother Chiam. Yeah. In the 80s, we saw the updating of our infrastructure. To grow as an air hub, we needed a bigger airport. Brother Latif was 21 years old at the time. He was one of the pioneer group of airport workers helping to move our airport from Paleba to Changi in 1981. Since then, Brother Latif has upgraded himself from being a baggage and cargo handler to become a flight 
a dispatcher and duty manager, making sure that the planes are all ready before taking off. And more than that, Brother Latif is also, sir, also our Vice President of SETSUS for the past 16 years. Uh, well done, brother. <laughs> Over the years, airport grew bigger. T1, T2, T3, and now T4 and T5. Airplanes grew bigger too. At the same time, the number of hangars for aircraft maintainers also grew larger. Brother Tan Ka Ming, with an O-level education background, started as technician 26 years ago with SIA EC. He upgraded himself to become an engineer. From, B7, from Boeing 747, he can now handle seven types of aircraft and supervising a team with eight engineers and 30 technicians. Not bad for someone with O-level qualification. Well done, Brother Tan. <laughs> Public land transport was upgraded too, from two-man operation to one-man operation, from single-decker to double-decker, from single route to multiple routes. Brother Lim Yu Huat went through all this started as a bus driver in 1975, 40 years ago. He's now a senior bus captain. He's able to drive single-decker, double-decker, and take on 14 bus routes. Well done, brother. <clears throat> Later, when MRT was launched, brother Lim Tiang Soon was there. He helped to build the MRT tracks, transporting engines, laying cables. Later on, he became a train driver. Over 28 years, he drove not one, not two, not three, but four generations of MRT trains on the tracks that he helped build many years ago. Well done, brother. <clears throat> Our public transport workers, they work hard to provide smooth ride to move our people from wherever they want to go to during the daytime. But at night, another team took over. When we are all sound asleep, Brother Ishak and his team, they were busy replacing sleepers through the night so that the train tracks will be safe and ready for the first train in the morning. Well done, Brother Ishak. Radio and television went through major upgrading too. From RTS to SBC, TCS, and now MediaCorp. Brother Ng Sir Hak was a cameraman with RTS in 1971. He's now a senior cameraman with MediaCorp. In his progress from single skill to multiple skills, he drives vehicle, do recording, edit, and upload footages, even give inputs to the producer to bring us all the informative, interesting video we see on television every night. Well done, brother. <clears throat> 1980s also saw Singapore becoming an intelligent island. For, to help workers to learn IT skills, NTUC, we went to MINDEF. We sought help from the SAF expert to help us to start IT training center. Guess who was the expert to help us? <laughs> Colonel Lee Sin Lung. <laughs> there, was, there was one more expert, not in the picture. He's as tall as Colonel Lee Sien Lung, as smart as Colonel Lee Sien Lung, as caring as Colonel Lee Sien Lung. Guess who is he? Yeah. Colonel Teo Chi Hien. <laughs> yeah. Sister Alice Fong was one of the workers who went through our NTUC IT training courses. 
She was a production operator with Hewlett Packard, and today with IT skill, she has upgraded herself to, became, to become an admin secretary. Well done, sisters. <laughs> the 80s saw us progress from the first C of computerization to the second C of communication. Society and businesses became more connected, from wired to wireless connection, from 1G to 2G to 2.5G, 3G, and now 4G and 5G to come. Brother To Hong Cheong, now 54 years old with Singtel, he started with the landline division, the wired division, but he moved on to the mobile network, and last year he was promoted to a TO, technical officer position. He installed mobile phone wireless tower to make sure that your mobile phones will have network access wherever you go. Thank you, Brother To. <laughs> now let's move on to the 90s. In the 90s, we saw breakthrough in pharmaceutical and biotech industry. Smith Klein Beecham was the first pharma company to set up operation here in Singapore. Brother Lim Hock Heng did shift work as a production technician, later promoted to senior production technician. Today, he's a logistic technician responsible for moving 600,000 worth of material, not every month, not every week, but every day. 600,000 worth of material every day. Well done, Brother Lim. As we cross into the 21st century, we strive for breakthrough in innovation. And one area is water technology. We progress from sand filtration to membrane filtration. Senior technical officer Tan Se Chiu was there. From sewerage department, he moved over to the Bedok New Water Factory to join the first batch of technicians to learn to operate the new water plant. Today, New Water, together with desalination, we are on track towards eventual self-sufficiency. Well done, Brother Tan. <laughs> During the 50 years of nation building, there were ups and downs. We are very proud that the worst of times brought out the best in our workers and our people. In 1997, we were hit by the Asian financial crisis. A factory known as IVP, International Video Product, producing VCR, video cassette recorder, was closed down. Hundreds of workers were retrenched. One of them, among them, was Madam Rahman Abdul Rahim. In those days, we did not have WDA, no E2I. So, with the help of UE, she went for retraining job matching, and end up having a job at ST Microelectronics, learn to be a quality specialist inspecting high-tech wafer. She has been promoted seven, several times since then, and today he's a senior, she's a senior manufacturing specialist at ST Microelectronics. Well done, Madam Sister Rama. 2003, we were hit by SARS. KS took on a new meaning, not just Kiansu, not just Kiansi, but also Kiansas. <laughs> it's because those days, at that time, we were all living in fear. But fortunately, we have courageous colleagues who risk their life to save life. Brother Habanjan Singh was nursing officer at CDC. He set up isolation wards together with his colleague very quickly to contain the spreading of SARS. He, has been, he was accorded the Courage Star Award and the National Day Commendation Medal. Well done, brother. <clears throat> 2008, we were hit by global financial crisis. Other places cut costs to save jobs 
We did the opposite in Singapore. We cut costs to save jobs. Other places cut jobs to save costs. We did the opposite, cut costs to save jobs. Brother Kang Kim Yong was a manpower minister then. He introduced SPUR as a tripartite program. The first company to take on SPUR was a company in the unionized sector known as Murata. Together with UE, we turned excess manpower into investment for skill upgrading. Murata, instead of just sending their excess workers for training, they identified the best workers and sent them for training so that when the upturn is back, they are ready to search ahead again. In that way, we were able to upturn the downturn together. Well done, brothers and sisters. <laughs> sisters and brothers, with a workforce of more than 3 million, there are countless stories of ordinary workers displaying extraordinary spirit. When we needed to upgrade and change to remain competitive, our Singapore workers were always there, prepared to pick up new skills, learn to do things the new ways, and keep doing their best for their companies, themselves, and their families. This is why today our airport, seaport, IT, factories, water supply, public transport, hospitals, schools, and more are among the very best in the world. On this May Day, as we celebrate AG50, we thank all Singapore workers in here and out there for 50 years of hard work, determination and resilience. Well done, Singapore! <laughs> today's, today's tomorrow is tomorrow's today. To keep doing well, we must keep looking ahead. Prepare ourselves and our children now to turn future challenges into opportunities. We must run fast and run together with skills future so that our workers will always have the skills to be employable. At the same time, we must run fast and run together with jobs future so that our businesses will always be productive innovative and competitive. Together, skills future and jobs future, like the DNA of Singapore, must move forward in tandem, ahead of the competition. Better jobs create better skills, better skills create better jobs, so that we can secure an SG100, one that will be even better than the SG50 we have today. The reason we are able to succeed where many others have failed is because of Singapore tripartism. As we celebrate AG50, we must remember our pioneer labour leaders and national leaders too, especially Brother Lee Kuan Yew, for their courage, determination and vision in creating Singapore of today. Hold our hands together, show our solidarity. All of us united, work for peace and harmony. Strive for excellence and better life for you and me, with a strong anti-UC. Solidarity for us. Forever with a strong.
wish you more years of active work, especially the younger trade union leaders who have taken over, and hope that you will work with the government and employers in equal terms. You have helped to create jobs and upgrade skills so that our workers will enjoy a better standard of living and a quality of life. They have done so for the last 50 years and there is no reason why they cannot do so for the next 50 years. As uh, Mr. Lee once said, the future is not predetermined. It will be decided by how we shape out as a people. As a people, as a workforce, we must uphold the fighting spirit and courage of our Singapore pioneers. Keep chasing after sunrise. Keep moving forward together as one new economy, as one renewed workforce, keep creating a better future for everyone. This May Day also marks the beginning of a new tripartite core team. At SNEF, Brother Stephen Lee has stepped down recently after many years of distinguished service. Thank you, Brother Stephen. <clears throat> Succeeding him, as new president of SNF, is a person who is, uh, in fact, he just became a new father for the sixth time yesterday. Let's welcome Dr. Robert Yap. Yeah. At, at MOM, Brother Tan Chuan Jin has done much to retune our manpower policies and make significant enhancement to our manpower policies. I asked him once, during his term as manpower ministers, what does he feel most proud about? And the first thing that came to his mind was low-wage workers. In fact, he has done a lot behind the scene to help us to ensure that the low-wage workers of Singapore will be better off. But more importantly, Brother Chan is an all caller minister. Besides taking care of the lowest workers, the rank file workers, he also amended the Employment Act as well as the Industrial Relations Act. So now, tripartism will now embrace PME as, as well. So, thank you, thank you, Brother Chan Jin. Thank you. <clears throat> At NTUC, with a new set gen, come Monday. Your new set gen has three very special qualities. First, his heart is at the right place, slightly central left. Yeah. <laughs> he cares a lot for people, from soldiers to babies to families, and now for workers. Secondly, let me tell you an inside story. He has a good standing in the cabinet. And with that, he will be able to provide a very effective link between the LM and the government. Last but not least, he's a core member of the next generation of leaders. With that, he will provide a very strong link for the labour movement to the future of Singapore. So with that, brothers and sisters, let us put our hands together to welcome our new Secretary General NTUC, Brother Chan Chun Singh. Brothers and sisters, the future is full of challenges and opportunities. Let us move forward together with trust and confidence. Together as one, brighter future for all. Happy May Day!